Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be continuing a conversation I started in my last video where I was recommending some of the best luxury bed linen in the market. In that video, I was focused more on your plainer colors, but in this video, I'm focused on your luxury bed linen that's either printed, patterned, embroidered, and I'm even going to focus on your silk bed linen. I'm Anisu Sagonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things. So whether you're someone who is new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, or you're young and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, or you're into luxury but wanting to focus more on the brands that operate very much under the radar and packing a mighty quality punch, then my content is geared towards you. I'm going to be recommending brands in the mid-tier as well as the top end of the market. What you will find with your patent bed linen is the majority of brands within the mid-tier and the entry level to the top end of the market will typically use fabric that's slightly lower in quality to what is used for your plain colored bed linen. And the thinking is twofold. Firstly, to keep the price down, patterned bed linen is typically cheaper than your plain colored bed linen. But it's more so to do with the fact that your patterned bed linen, it's a fashion item. You either get bored of it, you get tired of it, you want something different, it goes out of fashion. And you typically will not use your patterned bed linen all the time, every day. So you might not use it as frequently as you would, for example, your plain bed linen. But the brands I'm going to be recommending within this mid-tier space, they are typically using the better quality fabrics within the space. My top recommendation, same as the plain bed linen, French brand Yves Delorme, oldest bed linen company in the world, started in 1845. Within the pattern space, they are producing arguably the best quality bed linen. Very good range of styles, very similar to my top recommendation, Depot Toe, but literally at a fraction of the price. In terms of prices, as I did in my first video, it'll be based on two pillowcase covers, a Super King duvet cover, and a flat or fitted sheet. And for Yves Delorme, you're looking at prices of about 650 to 700 pounds, and that's based on how detailed the design is. My second recommendation is also another French brand called Alexander Tarpeau. And Alexander Tarpeau is my favorite. Very similar, as I said, in quality to Yves Delorme. There's very little difference between them. But Alexander Tarpeau is very much focused on your percale patterned bed linen. They do have um, a couple of ranges of your plain colored bed linen and also sateen printed. But their focus is very much on your percale printed bed linen. Very different take to what the majority of brands are doing. Um, fun designs. Um, and if I was going to invest in patterned bed linen at some stage, um, Alexander Tarpeau typically will be the brand I would consider first and foremost because of the designs. They're just so different and I like them. In terms of prices, you're looking at prices of between 600 and 650 pounds. My third recommendation is a Portuguese brand. And as you know, the Portuguese and the Italians pretty much dominate the space within the bed linen um, fabric weaving. Amalia coming in with a really good selection of fairly bold designs and their bed sets, you're looking at prices of about 500 pounds. Looking at silk, silk has some really strong pros and cons for and against it. For it, um, it's a natural fabric, it's healthy, it's hypoallergenic, it's very, very soft. Against it, uh, firstly, it's clingy. I have found when I've used it, as somebody who's a hot sleeper, it was a little clingy and I got a little hot. The other thing is, it's slippery. Um, it's going to move about on the bed and I found on occasion it has actually fallen off the bed. It's also fragile. And I found uh, where my feet are, I have very, where my toes are rather, I have uh, short rounded toenails. And that's the movement during my sleep, when I'm sleeping, has scuffed the sheets. And then the other thing I've also found is that silk typically needs um, a low agitation, low temperature wash. And when you're sleeping, you are 
emitting bodily fluids, perspiration, for example, and a low agitation, low temperature wash, I feel will not adequately clean silk sheets. And therefore that affects the quality, the performance, and in turn, the longevity of the sheets. But those are all personal uh, thoughts, my own opinions that I've experienced over the years. But I continue to source uh, silk bed sheets for clients. And the one brand that I've consistently used and had no issues is Ginger Lily. They have a very good, diverse selection of colors. And you're looking at about um, prices of around the thousand pound mark. The other brand I'd like to recommend within the silk space is Amalia. Up until this month, actually, they discontinued, they have now discontinued their silk blend range of bed linen. It was 65% cotton, 35% silk. And it was lovely because it still had that softness from the silk and it didn't move about as much. Um, it had uh, almost like grip, it had grit to the sheet, so it wasn't as soft and slippery. Uh, but they've discontinued that. If you see the silk blend uh, for sale on any website, snap it up because it is fantastic in terms of the quality, in terms of just the performance, being able to wash it and also longevity. Prices, you're looking at prices of around uh, £1,400. The other brand I'd like to recommend alongside Ginger Lily is Harrods of London. They have their own brand and you're looking at prices for a silk blend um, range of about uh, £1,500. There are two brands at the top end of the market that I would like to recommend. The first brand, it's a couple of levels ahead of Yves Delorme. And Yves Delorme was already a phenomenal brand within the mid-tier space. It's a Swiss brand called Schlossberg. And I would place Schlossberg literally just a little below Sfera, Salsa de Lomos and Frette. Their work is um, largely uh, printed uh, bed linen. That's what they're legendary for. They have a couple of styles that are plain, but it's largely the printed bed linen that they're known for comes either on a plain white background or a multicolored background and it's largely on sateen cotton prices you're looking at around 1700 their work is incredibly distinct it's very bold it's it's outstanding and what you will find as i mentioned earlier where you have very bold patterns you do you potentially can tire of them quite quickly they can be a bit overwhelming and a good way of giving them mileage and making them a lot more pal palatable especially if they're incredibly bold as schlossberg can get is mixing them with either muted colors or designs in terms of prices you're looking at uh, 1700 pounds my top recommendation is a French brand called De Porto, and De Porto owns the printed embroidered market space as confidently as Salso de la Mos owns the plain linen space. Their work is absolutely exquisite. Their ranges are split into three styles. There's the solid colors. It's white linen with the scalloped edge. The edge comes in a whole range of different colors. And then they have the printed uh, bed linen, largely around floral inspired designs. And then the third is the embroidered bed linen, either machine, hand finished or entirely hand sewn. Their work is stunning. When it comes to the very best in the market, De Porto have defined the space. Their work is largely on two types of material. There's the voile, which is very soft, it's lightweight, it's sheer. And the other material they use is a cotton percale. So it's a little heavier, but it's still light, it's airy, it's breathable, but not sheer. In terms of prices, their prices are literally eye-watering. But if you can afford the prices of Depoto, I would say go for it because you're getting the very best when it comes to your printed or your embroidered bed linen. For your solid colors, you're looking at um, prices of around 4,000 pounds, as I mentioned, for your Super King uh, duvet size. Their linen is sold in two, two ways. It comes as either just a duvet cover or you have the option to buy a bed linen set and that comprises of a top sheet, a bottom sheet, and two pillowcases. So it's an easy your way of um, working with their design. So you mix it with, with what you already have. So it's not as overwhelming. You either get the duvet on its own 
or you get the bed linen set where you have the option of the two sheets and the pillowcases and you can mix and match that with more muted bed linen. As I mentioned, the solid colors, you're looking at prices of around £4,000. Um, for your entry level uh, printed bed linen, you're looking at prices of around three and a half thousand pounds. And then for your um, entry level embroidery, you're looking at prices of around five thousand pounds. And then for your top end, their couture, which is either entirely um, hand embroidered or it's hand finished, then you're looking at prices of around eight and a half thousand pounds. Those are literally back-breaking prices, but as I said, if you can afford it, you're buying the very best in the market in terms of the quality of the material, the craftsmanship, the prestige, and the heritage of the brand. Retailers for both the plain and also your printed and embroidered bed linen. In the United Kingdom, you have Harrods who have a good selection of your mid-tier and top-end brands. In Paris, you have Le BHV for your mid-tier brands. You have Galeria Fayette for your mid-tier and your top-end brands. You also have the Conrad shop in Galeria Fayette and they're a great store, a great concession for your mid-tier and particularly the artisanal brands. You also have Le Bon Marché for a very strong mid-tier and top-end range of brands. In Germany, and in particular in Berlin, you have Cardave, a phenomenal luxury department store for your mid-tier and top-end. And online, I would highly recommend a website called amara.com. I'm going to include all the details in the description box down below, but all the retailers I've mentioned, stores and online, they ship globally. Between this video and the one before, the plain white bed linen, you are spoiled for choice. Regardless of your budget, go for what you can afford. All the brands are phenomenal in terms of the quality, in terms of craftsmanship, and also longevity. If you buy right when it comes to bed linen, a couple of sets, they will last you a good 20 years, provided they are impeccably laundered and also pressed to ensure that they are, are performing at their maximum potential. Any other questions, let me know in the comments down below, but don't forget to share this video with anybody who wants to buy better and therefore they're buying less. Uh, subscribe and do like this video so more people can join in the conversation. Take care.